Welcome to this week's episode of the Pullist Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at the top three comics that I'm looking forward to picking up when it comes to New Comic Book Day. And New Comic Book Day this week is going to be April 26th, 2023. I've got a average size uh, list coming from the LCS this week with about 10 titles. Uh, but I do have one honorable mention that I want to mention first. And that is Image Comics 30th Anniversary Anthology Series, issue number 12. Yep, that's right. We have hit the end of the 30th anniversary of Image Comics. And I just had to mention this as another comic on my list. I've bought all 12 of these issues leading up to this final issue. And I have to say, some of it was great. Some of it, not so great. But that is what you get with Image Comics, to be quite honest, is you get some amazing work that becomes some of the best comic book titles that we've ever gotten, if you look back in history. And you get some other work that disappears quite quickly. But with that being said, this was a fun series to read, especially the Jeff Johns title that's in the front. That's one that has really stuck out to me. Uh, it's been one of the first stories every issue. If you haven't, I would recommend going out and seeing if you can grab some of these. I know one of the issues has a bunch of spec on it, and I think they're charging about three or four times the cover price now for it. But that's my other respect for them as they put this title out, is I think the cover price has been $6. And this is a huge book, uh, physically speaking. It's like uh, 50 plus pages, square bound, nice format. So really, I am very appreciative of Image Comics doing this, it brings back the memories back all the way to 1992 when I was at the comic shop as a kid looking at Youngblood, Spawn, Wildcats, those first image titles that started it all. And here we are 30 years later with the 30th anniversary of Image. So uh, it's kind of uh, uh, apropos that I mention this with this final issue that's celebrating their 30th anniversary. But let's jump into the rest of the top three now. Starting off this week with number three, we've got The Ambassadors, issue number three. And here is an Image Comics, after I just talked about Image Comics. Here's a title from Image Comics. Actually, we got Miller World from Image Comics. And if you're not familiar with Miller World, go check out his website. It is quite the business now after he has signed this multi-million dollar deal with Netflix. This title specifically came out very short time ago. I'm very, very impressed at how quickly they're getting these issues out. I'm assuming that they already have the whole series done and he's just publishing them as he uh, is able to now. So uh, this is a kind of tie-in, I think, back to the Jupiter's Legacy series. Um, I think I heard that there may be a future crossover that will happen, but really it's just been an interesting concept to me the base concept, if you don't know, is that there is a scientist who has the ability to grant superpowers on and off with this technology and has decided to take applications from the entire planet, but only six people can be selected. And they're doing kind of a focus on each individual person that's getting selected, at least in the first couple issues. And as we go into this issue three, I am intrigued with how they will do this continued character building, which I think they're doing a good job of. So if you are a fan of a superhero story, but with that real world twist, check out Ambassadors. It's a good title. And at number two this week, we have Green Arrow, issue number one. Honestly, I can't tell you a whole lot because the series hasn't come out yet, but I can tell you that this is the number two issue on my list because I am looking forward to reading Joshua Williamson take over this title. Joshua Williamson is a great writer and I have liked a lot of the things he's worked on. If you've watched my show over the past year, he put out that Rogues uh, Black Label story that was really cool about a heist set in the future of the rogues gallery that comes from the Flash universe. But here we've got a reboot 
and from what I'm seeing in some of the writing that has been released so far, it looks like he's really focusing in on the Arrow family and the characters around it. I really thought he did a great job on the Deathstroke series, and that's why I am looking forward to reading this series. The last run of Deathstroke actually led into the whole Dark Crisis event, and Joshua Williamson took a huge part in that. This is one of the Dawn of DC titles, so we're getting a reboot here. I don't know what to expect to be quite honest, but I have an idea of what to expect based on the writings of Joshua Williamson before. So with that, I'm looking forward to the Green Arrow issue number one. And at number one this week, the top choice of the week will be Daredevil issue number 10. This is going to be starting into the final arc that we're going to get from Chip Zdarsky on the Daredevil run. This Daredevil run has been awesome. I would say that there probably are comic book fans that would argue that it may be one of the best Daredevil runs, at least in many years. And I am definitely looking to see how Chip Zdarsky is going to finish this off. I will say, I feel like they may be running out of steam on the last few issues. Maybe that's why they're heading to the exit door with the title too, I don't know. But what I'm really excited about with this issue is it's listed that Marco Cicchetto will be doing the art on the issue. Sometimes he's not on the issues doing the art and when he's on, it makes a world of difference because that team up of Marco Cicchetto with Chip Zdarsky gives a great uh, issue. So with that, I'm going to say that Daredevil issue number 10 hopefully will be kind of the start of the end of this run and I am looking forward to that final arc. Thank you for watching this week's episode of the Pull List Examiner. You can find the full pull list of all the comics that I'm going to be buying in the description of the video below. I am always looking forward to your comments in the comment section. If you're reading a title and you want to recommend it, please do. I have picked up many titles because of recommendations from other YouTube videos that I watch. So remember to read them, bag them, and board them, and we will see you next time on the Pull List Examiner. Have a good week. Thank you.